Kaufman explained why he can't support the Prime Minister's deal, at least not yet. As it currently stands, I'm not going to be supporting the Prime Minister because it keeps us in a spaghetti junction of EU bureaucracy. There's no end date to the backstop. We pay £39 billion of taxpayers' money up front without a trade, even a trade deal at the end. And I think there are significant problems. So I'm not able to support the Prime Minister unless the deal changes substantially by Tuesday. So there is a little bit of wriggle rumours there if, if she pulls something out of the hat from the EU? Well, if she can show what we're getting for the £39 billion, if, if there is an end date to the backstop, or at least that Britain has a genuine legal unilateral right to withdraw from this open-ended uh, arrangement, infinite almost, arrangement with the EU, um, then maybe I would, uh, would support it. But as it currently stands, I think it is just too bureaucratic. It keeps us in all the EU uh, regulations and laws without any voice, without any right of, of veto and without any vote. And, and I just think that is wrong. So perhaps then, if the deal, as we expect, fails, she goes back to Brussels and comes back with something slightly different, you might back it? Of course, I don't like voting against the Prime Minister. I know that she's doing her best for the country. And if she came back and there were changes to uh, the deal and she presented them to Parliament, obviously I would look at it and see whether it was possible to support. But as it currently is, I feel that it would break the promise that I made to my constituents the day after the referendum in 2016. And I said that I will do everything to ensure that Brexit means Brexit.